I'm on empty. Now, wouldn't it be great if I could just push a button and fill my tank? So it is morning. Um, it is Sunday morning and we're having a overland bound get together here with members at uh, JPR Automotive and Ralph is hosting. Anyway, we got about 30 trucks here and uh, we're here because the 80 series is gonna get a 24 gallon um, expansion tank. That's something that Corey and I have talked about for a really long time. Um, so we're gonna do that. Timing's great, right? Uh, but my 80 gets 10 miles to the gallon, 11 miles to the gallon, and its factory gas tank is uh, 25 gallons. And I was out with Kent Reynolds. You got things under control, Kent? Always. Um, out in Nevada, and I thought to myself, oh, I have plenty of gas. And sure enough, I didn't have plenty of gas. So that was the last time I was gonna bum gas from Kent. Uh, and, and so now I'm going to get the 24 gallon gas tank. So thanks for thanks to Long Range uh, America. Thank you, and uh, uh, thank you to Ralph and JPR Automotive. It's going to be a couple of day job, and we'll document it. And you guys can ask questions about it in the comments. So if you're considering something like this yourself, I will share what I learned through the process, and uh, and we'll get it taken care of. All right, now let's get to the install. Good morning. Hey, how are you, Michael? I'm doing excellent. Good. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, you have the tank right there. There it is, right here. All right, yes. cool. And then you've got the beast. Yes, it's in, in the back. In the, in the shop. Um, so let's uh, let's go back there and tell people what we're what we're gonna do. Let's do it. All right, cool. Okay, Ralph. All right, so um, yeah, what are we doing? What are we doing here? All right, so the auxiliary tank on the 80 series goes right where the uh, spare tire used to be. Right. Where the house is. So this will have to be removed. Oh, that cross member. I'm just taking it off for you. That's okay. All right. We have yep. to remove this, and we'll give okay. it back to you in case you want to use it for whatever reason you want it back. Uh, okay. And then uh, it mounts right underneath here, and there's a cross member that we attach from this end to this. Okay. And, uh, and we may have to trim uh, the sides here just a little bit. Just okay. to get it in there. Just a yep. little bit of trim. So uh, there is a difference between uh, a, a second gas tank, which um, uh, would feed the engine, and a auxiliary tank. This is an auxiliary tank. This is an auxiliary tank. Right, yes. and so you put the fuel in the auxiliary tank, but then it has to be pumped to the main tank. To the main tank at, uh, you know, at will. It does, right. it does not do it automatically. Correct. Exactly, a second yeah. gas tank is more complements the first gas tank. It just, you don't know when it changes, it just right. does it. You know? Right, exactly. Uh, so this, you, 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 when, you're, when you're low on fuel, you pump the fuel from the auxiliary tank into the main tank, Correct. and then it goes through the standard. And you also system. do not have to run around with all that extra weight, right? If uh, if you don't need to, if you're just running around town, you don't have the 24 gallons. So, right. but that is unique to the 80 and to some of the other. Not all applications okay. allow that. Right. Some applications you do actually have to fill the main, fill up the main tank, right? Before it fills up the auxiliary. Right. So, okay. uh, just just to there's a note with that. You know, some people think, oh, well, it doesn't do it for my 50, and no, it doesn't. Right. For the, right. Your, your 50 and 4 runners are different. Got it. Um, and this will be 24 gallons in addition to the factory gas tank. So your factory gas tank, which I think another 24. another 24, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, it's, it's like the, uh, uh, the, I believe it's considered a 25 gallon fuel tank, so is, but is I don't it, think I've ever put 25 exactly. gallons in it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Well, great. Um, so I guess we'll check in a little bit later and, uh, and, and see how it's going. All right, sure, yeah, right on. Same fuel tank, or the same. Yeah, mag. same spigot, yep. I mean. But reserve. Yep, yeah. and primary. Very cool. You got a couple of great rigs though. You got a couple of Land Cruisers. Yes. You and I both have an 80. Yes, we both have an 80. Yep. I have a fully built 80 uh, three-link on 40s. Yeah. 
I have a uh, 100 series, which is uh, triple lock on 37s yep. and geared for 37s. I know people guys don't kill me about that because it does work. When did you start uh, 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 JPR Automotive? Automotive? We started in 2004. Okay, wow. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I started a shop in 2003, but it's a one-day shop for uh -huh. my own vehicles. Yep. And then, uh, you know, I like said I was in the software industry and yep. I was a vendor. And then uh, the Gulf War, I got laid off and I decided not to go back into it. Yeah. And then I opened a bigger shop and we've been on this location for 13 years. Wow, wow, that's great. That's a great track record. Right well, I'm thrilled. You reached out. We uh, This was during the last Overland Expo. Yes. You reached out, you walked up to me and, sa and basically said, hey, let's get an uh, uh, yeah, extended range shield tank on I the know, Land Cruiser. You, you and probably the thank you. Knowing yeah. how much gas our vehicles <laughs> consume. You know, uh, it's really not practical to not have an extended range. To not have range. one, yeah. yeah. You know, you're eight dead, my God. Uh, uh, this, yeah. this is like, uh, you know, 1970s muscle cars almost. <laughs> <laughs> right, no kidding. Um, so well, there are a bunch of things that could happen with the install. Like, for example, if the, if the frame rails were too narrow, Correct. you would have had to do more modification. What did we find? Yeah. Well, in this case, it was just right. It uh -huh. was just in, there was about an inch on each side that was perfect. Right. We cannot accommodate for every bumper system out there Correct. or exhaust system. So in general, those, those tanks are designed for a stock vehicle. Yep. And that's why I tell people if they're going to put a bumper, let us put the tank in first. Right. And you fit the bumper into the tank as opposed to the other way around. Right. It's a bull scenario. You don't have to film this because this is all logistics. <laughs> okay, well. Um, just because we're... You, you see what happened here? It just, it just barely, but it was perfect. Wait. It just made it in there. Buy a hair. Is this yeah. enough light or you want more? That's good. You don't need to open this, yeah. Because we were worried about having to, uh, you know, trim this a little bit. Wow, look at that. I love the double fill. The double oh, fill. yeah. I absolutely love the double yeah, fill. Yeah, Corey was asking how that actually works. Next, I'm going to pull my back down, so... It would be another day before the plumbing, electrical, and switches were all installed. So that night, Corey and I had an adventure in Vegas. But, you know, what happens in Vegas. So you guys, it's all done. Let me show you how tucked up under there it is. Um, one of the reasons we went with the 24 gallon is because it's really, you know, in terms of the departure angle, it's great. Check it out. Now, Corey and I made it all the way from Las Vegas back to the Bay Area, California without stopping. It was awesome. I was really impressed with the tank. We didn't do a permanent install of the switch because, well, Parnell and I have the console all torn apart and we'll figure out where it goes. That video is coming up soon. Thank you to Ralph and Anna for hosting and for doing the install. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Long Range America, for an awesome tank and JPR Automotive is a trusted mechanic in the Overland Bound 1 app. Download it now. Until next time, outfit, explore, and we'll see you on the trail. <laughs>